Hi, this is Jason from Primal Engineering. I'm going to show you today how to install the Arduino IDE programming environment, the drivers for the SparkFun Redboard, which is an Arduino Uno clone, and our library we've created for the Arduino IDE called Gobbit Line Command. It works with our Gobbit robots for doing line following and intersection detection on line courses, uh, simple move commands, opening and closing a gripper, uh, obstacle avoidance, a handful of fun and easy uh, projects. Yet it also can be fine-tuned and even more uh, for more advanced functions. So we'll start by downloading the Arduino IDE from their website arduino.cc. We go to download. This is on Windows so I'm going to download the Windows installer. I'm going to click on just download. If you would like to contribute and download, I'm sure they would appreciate it. These guys do good work and they've provided a great platform for us to work from. As soon as this is finished downloading, I will install it. So I click on run here. Okay, hopefully this popped up. I say yes. And I agree. And I hit next for just standard installation. Hit install. Now there's a few pop-ups that you probably won't see here. I've installed this before on this computer. The first time I did this version, it threw up some red flags saying, hey, do you sure, are you sure you trust these guys? you know who they are? And I said yes. So if you get any of that, this is you know, a, a trustworthy application. And it probably would install drivers for the first time as well for Uno and a handful of other uh, devices. Again, it's I've already run it on my system, so I'm not seeing those pop up. But it's almost complete. As soon as this is done, then we'll install the breadboard drivers. Almost there. Okay, it's completed on mine. Hit close. Make this go away. So the Redboard driver, it's a. Uh, we need to go to ftdichip.com. They're the manufacturers of the chip that actually is on the Redboard. Then you go to drivers, VCP drivers, virtual COM port. That's what that stands for. Again, I'm on Windows. I'm just going to get the setup executable. It's going to download into a zip file. I'm going to click on this to open it. And I'm going to run the setup file. I just double clicked on it. I'll tell it yes, that I want to allow it to make changes. Then I'm going to tell it to extract. Hit next again. Accept. Hit next. And now it's installed. It says it's ready to use. And I hit finish. Again, I've done this before on here so the first time it wants me to restart the computer uh, after I've plugged in the redboard for the first time I'm going to go ahead and close this uh, now I have an Arduino IDE icon on my desktop I'll double click on that to run it and then we go to to get the library we go to sketch include library manage libraries under the filter search here we start to type in gobbit which is g-o-b-b and here is the library I click on it once tell it to install it's installed now there are two more libraries that are that this needs one is the Adafruit Motor Shield version 2 the other is the QTR sensors uh, the Adafruit Motor Shield is for uh, you, with with this library you can either use a standard uh, like SparkFun Arjumoto style motor driver or the standard pulse width and direction uh, like L298 style drivers so start with Adafruit here so Adafruit motor and it's right here version 2 not version 1 it's gotta be version 2 
I install that. That's done. Now for the QTR. QTR sensors, that's that is the line following sensor. I'll install that. It's done. Close it. I'm going to close the IDE and restart it. I'm going to go to File, Examples, go down to the Goblet Line command, and I also see the Adderford Motor Shield in there and the QTR sensors. That's good. So the line command, I'm going to open up uh, just a basic line, GLC basic line. That's the whole program right there. I'm going to try verifying it to make sure it doesn't have any errors. It's compiling, it's checking everything. No errors, okay. Now I'm going to plug in a redboard with my USB cable. It actually didn't pop anything up. It typically would pop up uh, showing that it's re that it just saw it. Um, I guess again, since I have done this already, it didn't this time. But it should pop up and say, "Yeah, it's it's installed. Everything's working fine." And then it'll show up under the tools port. Mine is COM22 for this board. I'm gonna try sending this over. Upload it to make sure that it communicates properly. Now it's uploading. And it's done. So then I can try running the program, but that, that should be fine. Okay, so now I'm all installed and ready to go on and play with the examples. So, hope you uh, have fun.